CJ claps back at the fans and looks like Ty is single. Try let's get straight into the drama. Straight after this ad, make sure to go check out my vlog channel, guys. I just uploaded a video what I did in New Jersey, you know. Check it out. It's some personal stuff. I've been talking to some people. I can't go too much detail in here, but go check it out, okay? The link will be in the pinned comment section below. Now, you guys know it wasn't long ago when Queen Nigel just said, I really wish people would start commenting on my baby's teeth. Even if I stop doing that, he can't read now, and I don't want him feelings insecure at a young age. His teeth are growing and at their own pace. He's fine. Now, month later, baby CJ spoke out about the situation, bro. I don't know how the hell he got his hand on the phone and social media, but he uploaded this on TikTok asking the people to stop talking about his teeth. This is what he had to say. Do not talk about my teeth no more, and I'm going to do this trick. Been practicing. So, don't talk about my teeth. That's annoying. Period. Okay. <laughs> Yo, that boy got moves. I don't even know how to do that. But look, Chris Sells ended up posting this on his IG saying, Do not talk about my son's team no more. <laughs> Y'all heard him? <sighs> And look, people were happy and started dragging Queen, Chris, and Clarence. This is what they had to say. This is why you monitor your child's access to social media. As a parent, you know that trolls are going to be trolls. The only thing you have control over is the thing that you allow your child to see. It's obvious that CJ is self-conscious about it. His parents shouldn't have him looking at social media comments. Sweetheart. It's sad that he knows that people are saying mean things about him. If Chris told him to do that, just say it. Uh, it's it's not your fault, baby. It's your parent. Why I feel like an adult told him people were talking about his teeth online in the comments. I doubt a five-year-old is searching for the kind of stuff anyway. Still the parent's fault. Why is he only reading the comments? Who told him the internet talking about his teeth in the first place? Shaking my head. Who told the baby people were talking about his teeth in the first? Now, Tina ended up saying this as well because it was posted on the official OT O'Shea. She commented under saying, They bought leave my baby alone, period. The grandmas ain't got teeth. Have a blessed day. Now, some people were saying, Wow, CJ is reading comments, while others are like, Wow, so the parents are like telling CJ that people are talking about his teeth. It could be a situation where CJ was in the room and overheard them talking about CJ's teeth. Unless Unless CJ is legit reading comments like Queen say, so I could only assume he's actually reading comments, which is crazy to me. Like, you imagine when he gets older and watches all these drama videos, he's like, Mom and Dad, did you scare people? <laughs> Wait, you... How are you going to explain that to your kid, man? They're going to lie to this kid so much to appear more innocent to him. Oh, no, we never did that. It's just people on the internet talking shit. <laughs> Can you imagine that? That is crazy. Hopefully, they'll be like, look, we were really bad. We did some mistakes, but we're good now. And you don't, you're not in a position. You don't have to do that. You feel me? Hopefully, they're honest to him and he can learn something and, you know, learn some value out of it. But damn, if he's reading those comments, I can't imagine how he feels about his his teeth you know and maybe people at school picking at him because of his teeth is like damn but hey look at the end of the day it's gonna fall out it's gonna be back to normal but is cj really reading comments and chris sells posted this on instagram why would you do that because now people are gonna talk about his teeth even more yo the kids teeth looks fine it's normal kids have teeth like that all the time bro so i don't know why people are so fun like materialistic oh my god your teeth is like this oh my god you got an extra finger like who cares man but anyway now if cj really is reading the comments i think the solution here is that the parents obviously give him uh, maybe he has his own phone but give him access to kids youtube like there's youtube for kids now like he doesn't have to see you guys stuff but if this was all an act and CJ doesn't even care about his teeth and all of this was made for entertainment purposes, 
good on him. Maybe this was all plotted and planned by CJ and Chris Wells. Well, Chris Wells telling CJ, hey, do this because this will be funny. You'll be surprised how parents do that to their kids to make funny content. A lot of them do that for some change and some clout. Okay, so let's move on to the next story. Ty and that guy finally broke up. Oh, we for real today. I don't know exactly what happened, but you know on March the 2nd, we made the video on after Trey's hairdresser reached out to us and reported that Trey was cheating on Ty, basically entertaining her. Then on April the 12th, we made another video after a YouTuber, Gabby, from the Bad Girls Club, right, made a story time video about the guy that she met. And it went viral because everyone noticed was like, hey, that's Ty's man that you're chilling with, right? She actually made a response or a reaction to my video. And you guys are so messy in the comments. I saw y'all, your comprehension skills are so bad. Not all of y'all, but some of y'all were in the comments. Martin said he didn't know you. What? I, I don't know her. I know of her and what she posts on social media. I don't know her, her. And y'all were in the comments being messy. Man and lie and say he don't know you when he comment under your video. No sh bitch. I've commented under them from some of their videos. You're a moron. That doesn't mean I know them. I don't sit with them, kiki with them, hang out with them. So how do I know them? I know of them and what they post. I don't know who they are or who their character is. You feel me? So y'all were messy for that. Period. I saw you in the comments. But anyway, I digress. Things escalated because on June the 8th, Trey the Realtor Taylor posted this on his Instagram. It was posted on the Teen Shade Room. He says... I'm looking for a wife, not a temporary friend, oh. but an overlasting love. Unknown quote. Oh, <laughs> was that shade temporary fling? Uh -huh. No, security. What do you mean you're looking for an everlasting love, bro? You do it too much. You entertaining other girls. Hello. I think you're someone who wants probably a girl, but some hoes on the side. You need to be real with yourself and stop being a hoe, because you're being one of these bitch ass hoes. You need to be real. Be like. Like, I'm looking for everlasting love, but I want some flings on the side as well. You need to stop pulling this fake shit and be a real one. If you're gonna be a man hurt, be a proud one. You feel me? Yeah. Anyway, Ty Osa posted on her page saying single with a little tick. So she basically advertising that she's single. On June the 8th, she posted on Twitter, accept shit and move on. She also said, how many times do a person have to say they're single before y'all start thinking that they are the problem? So I feel like she's probably talking about herself people probably think ty is the issue ty's got problems she's always single and ty you are the problem you probably jump into relationships way too quick you need to give yourself some time love your for jj love your body love yourself and build that damn business and then you know just be careful with some of these dudes and if they screw up the first time Take a lesson hit, you know what I'm saying? You wasted all your time with this dude who been entertaining other girls this whole time. You could have been with a good relationship with yourself or got yourself a good man. But anyway, people were in the comments saying, He looks like he could be her dad anyways. <laughs> Someone said, Ty and a relationship don't even sound right together anymore. Oh, <laughs> y'all shady. Ain't he be cheating on her? Who child is, ain't she? Boy, Ty can't keep a man. Why they always post when they single? Keep your business on that internet. You know what? You're probably right, spam that ish to Tay. But you know what? She probably advertises she want a new man. That's why she buys it. <laughs> Y'all need to realize that y'all are already single because you ain't married. Oh. See, this is someone that thinks that in a relationship when they have a ring on their finger. So they can do all the tricks, all that ho-ish, but they're still single because you didn't put a ring on the finger. Never trust a person like this, all right? <laughs> anyway, what do you guys think about this situation? On a no good riddance, she might be back with the guy, but the guy's been entertaining other guy, good little guys, girls, so he really ain't ish. But hey, what do I know? Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Hit the subscribe button for notifications, and I'll see you guys in another drama video.